without turning it into a fortress? How do we allow the American people to Hi everyone, sorry it's really cold today and um, it is now Okay, hi everybody, welcome to my live. Um, it is now 8.19 Hawaii Standard Time here in Hawaii. We're gonna talk about Stephen Sound. The intelligence and the in the communications. I think we have the process in place for when we have credible intelligence, especially high level credible intelligence. He's the guy talking right now. I think my big concern is, you know, on the on the collection, on how wide we're casting the net to collect uh, to collect our intelligence that would have revealed that this was coming, uh, and we are facing this type of mass insurrection. Uh, I, I definitely want to say the Capitol Police is well versed, well trained on handling what you're talking about a, a Mumbai style attack. Uh, a couple of uh, you know um, attackers armed, you know, active shooter events. Things then like why that. did you the reply the way you did on that day? That are the if Capitol. you guys like, know what to do, us. so when you talk about that, looked like you failed. Security, and I mentioned in one of the you know what to do. One of the initial questions. I think there are options for maintaining a uh, an open environment, an open campus type of environment, while putting some substantial uh, physical security uh, measures in place, both for the building, the skin of the building, as well as uh, farther out. You know, time and distance is our best friend, uh, and the most important thing is to you know provide some kind of protection farther out, so the officers have more, um, you know, more time to deal with it. But that's something that I think should be discussed uh, in a closed or classified session. Why? Because you shame that you I, I, did I wrong. Understand, but. Uh, and I hope that that, Why? that is a discussion, Madam Chair. You want that have. to be private because you shame. Uh, What's shameful, we yeah? Just, uh, as I say, we, we what you did. The United States Capitol to be, uh, so so you just that said that, yes, you have policies. He uh, just agreed he has policies. There's correct postures. There's words. And he did not do it. So why he never do them? Is it, how, how does it get filled the question the was why he never execute yeah, I mean, the North, the North, uh, what's supposed to be done that he agreed there is policies, words, yeah. rules, yeah. training, yeah. how to approach it with posture. Where we discuss the upcoming events on the sixth because you the inauguration was a part of it kind of issues we you was have. part of the we insiders insurrecting steven son nothing was mentioned about it. uh so i think my big uh, big point is i think we need to look out there's significant evidence coming out that the insurrection that occurred on the sixth was planned coordinated well in advance coordinated almost the point with steven son states where you're, you're having events coordinated. And it's that detection that I think- would Because it's your responsibility to, the, uh, to know what your deputies are doing. So it's your fault. Finally- Your when fault. We're, when we're talking about uh, providing this this level of security, do you, is there a playbook? Is there a, uh, a, a, a contingency plan that's literally sitting on a shelf somewhere that says, uh, demonstrations around the Capitol, here's what you do. It, I mean, some of the timing things, for example, the deployment of the National Guard might have been faster had there been a predetermined uh, set of phone numbers, actions, steps uh, to be taken. Does that exist? And if not, should it exist? To the level where you're including the National Guard, there's a process where we handle uh, special events and demonstrations. Uh, but I, I, I tend to agree that we need to streamline the process that we request the National Guard in the future. So why did he say he wanted to discuss and, that in and, private? Yeah, because clearly there As was a there was a delay. He's scared what can come out. Important part of the, the, the response at the time. Uh, Madam Chair, I, again, I want to thank these witnesses. I think they've really made a contribution. Uh, and uh, they made a contribution when they were uh, serving in their uh, respective positions. Uh, what you hiding you in your closets?
But you're hiding you, Senator, deep uh, down Senator inside Senator of you Senator, uh, that you're trying to deny that it ever oh, thank been. You, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my first question is for Chief Conte. Denying what your own action. Trying to pretend to share you a good person. And local Does it mean you are corrupted, abusive, negative, stupid, lack of knowledge, lack of composure, lack of posure? A lack of executing and practicing their job description. Because against their own what? Bias group. Because Stephen Sun even mentioned Antifa. We already, how many times, already confirmed Antifa had nothing to do with it. Because we all know the double standards. If Antifa had anything to do with this, would have been just like the peaceful riot, the peaceful whatever they was calling it at that time. Peaceful um, protests. Whatever so they was calling it at that time. Major, uh, issue, look how national look how much national uh, guards. That, uh, Remember how much national guards look how they were suited compared to how they were suited that day on January 6, 2020. One. Now you can use double standards. Now you can compare. Now you can see how they would execute one thing and then execute another thing. He just confirmed they were supposed to do that by against any mob, against any gang. So they improve discrimination, a bias by bases, a bias postures, bias postures that became acts of action bias because they favor these gangs they favor these groups they favor the white privileged ones that's why their double standards of approach did not follow their job description and that's why their job description is fighting them back. Right now is their job description suing the human for not doing the job description. These humans is fighting against their own jobs. How is that constitutional? And how is they letting Stephen Sun protest against the democracy? The report, the and the report I'm talking about is this right here. This is the report, okay? On January 6th of 2021, against the United States democracy, the location of the shameful riot, the Washington DC capital of the United States of America, Capitol Police, and everyone in leadership of authority failed to observe their job description to protect and serve and uphold the oath of defending and protecting the democracy of the United States of America of how the job description words told them how to do it. No matter what group, the conflict of interest and the why they was hypocritical is because they were biased. It's because they was biased and has been and still been and ongoingly by Stevenson's statement, an ongoing, continually bias, posture of discrimination against the group they do not favor.
by the statement of Stevenson. I told you he was going to say that by those questions. I'm the one that gave the questions. Right. Let me, I'll just uh, go ahead and echo what Chief Conti had mentioned that I do think that deserves additional focus. I think if we have information that's coming in the day before a major event, uh, that that has that level of specificity, that it could get a little more attention than, you know, just being handled either through an email or electronic uh, uh, format. Mm -hmm. Was there any intelligence that you did receive in the several days leading up to January 6th that caused you to change any of the security plans amongst the United States Capitol Police? So yeah, just to just to reiterate, no, he you know, did not. He did not execute nothing the this, um, the event of the, the policy. He did not change the intelligence report that we nothing on the third, to assist uh, an approach large number of protesters coming in if and when and maybe you know, violent, uh, a possibility on the Capitol, might happen. Someone had a um, uh, maybe armed. And is that is what was really See, driving maybe the possibility. This was information Ooh. that we, we knew. We were developing our security plan uh, around that. And, and that's when we looked at, you know, we, uh, based on our review of the November and December um, mega events, determined we were going to push our fence line out. And when we wanted to do that, that's when I requested the national. So that means you knew. We're going to need support from the fence line. They've been chanting it mm -hmm. all over Thank the you. mega events. Yeah, Chief Conti, you you got to be dumb, and deaf, and stupid. Didn't and blind. For not see, hear, and know what the fuck you're saying at the mega riots. Consideration about the fact that the January 6th was scheduled on a very important no day shit. that Congress would be in session. There's so much, the results of the election so much posted. There was so much posted from different uh, random the people. Marches, which had been on weekends without Congress being in session. Different random people all over Twitter, TikTok, all over Facebook, um, YouTube and all before they take them down, saying what on their videos, on their on their posts, on their social media, every, everybody randomly of saying that whoa, something going down on January 6, 2021, and at the Capitol. Everybody. Everybody was saying something going down, something going down. Republicans were saying them. The mock, uh, the the Democrats were saying them. Everybody was saying them. So why they were saying that they never know? Democrats were saying them. Independence people were saying them. The unsure was saying them. The Democrats were saying them. The Republicans were saying them. So why they never believe? Why they asking for reports? When they get the shit load of evidence that this is a decoration. This is a decoration of war against the United States democracy. Located at the Washington DC capital of the United States of America. A shameful riot battery against the democracy of the United States of America of a constitutional proceeding located at the at Washington DC Capital of the United States of America. Hi, Kaysen, thank you for the one. <laughs> but for real, hey, Superwoman, hey. <laughs> but for real, the reason why I lined it up those, those questions in that way is because I wanted him to answer in that way. Because I knew they was going to answer like that. I knew he was going to answer like that. I knew those was going to be the answers. That's why I knew how to uh, ask the next question after that answer. And I asked the correct people to ask that question because they will be forced to answer in that way because in that level of the person asking, they know that they know. 
But if the attorney asks, they can say whatever they like to the attorney. But why do you think I'd ask the lady to ask the question after the attorney? This is me out of their voices asking these questions because I was asking them this when they was going against me. So I said, then ask them then. I guarantee you, I bet you that this is how they're going to answer. They're going to try to blame them or they're going to try to cover them up by other words because the people that are watching the news only going to listen to the words and they don't really understand how to break down the trial. But I do. And here I am breaking it down for you. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm not lying. This was all my dreams. Okay, I did my rehearsal in 2019. Okay, that's why I didn't get the scar because I didn't do the rehearsal and I was jumping the gun. And that's why that would happen too. <laughs> and then in 2020, I thought we was already in the next phases. That's why when go er, reverse, and then they kind of put the hypnosis on me for kind of forget a little bit, so I reverse a little bit. But here we go. Hallelujah. Okay. So in these, so when Stephen answered in that way, okay, this is this is the title. Okay, for all you guys that just joined, hi everybody. This is what I'm talking about. Stephen's son lied under oath about Antifa being anything a part of January 6, 2021, because they already had an investigation against the leaders and everybody, including Antifa. Proud Boys, uh, Oath Keepers, Boogaloo, QAnon, all of them was questioned and investigated. Antifa did not fight. Antifa did not run away. When FBI came to Antifa's leader's door, he opened the door and him and his leaders were standing right there ready for goal because they said they had nothing to do with this because they are the Constitution. Why would they go against or fight against an, the uh, constitutional proceeding when they voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Mostly Kamala Harris they voted for. So that's why Antifa has nothing to do with this. Antifa has nothing to do with this because they are voters for the one in office. So why would they go against the one they voted for? They are protected by their vote. Why do you think I told Antifa, vote with me, stand with me? Take my hand, Antifa, and run with me. Trust me. Why do you think I asked them? Because I said, if you run with me, Antifa, BLM, Black Lives Matter, Latinos, Latins, mixed races. When I asked you other cultures and other religions to stand with me, do you believe me now? Don't you see? I know you was upset. I told you they was gonna quit him. That's all his friends. That's an unconstitutional jury. But now we're in court and that's a private citizen that we are going against now. So now that we are going against a private citizen, 
the same way we do against you and all your members and all the civilians of every culture, every race, and every single one of you of color and disabilities and of new communities that we have here in the United States of America and the new community that we are welcoming with open arms is the transgenders. They are allowed to choose who they love and who they do not want to love. I have no, they are adults, that's why. But if you fool around with a child that is different, I told you I am racist and very biased against pedophiles. I have my reason, I have my cause. And all of you guys know why. I have a passion against pedophiles and rapists. But they hid it under, I was against gays, but I was not. Why would I support and go through all that pain and suffering for two gay fuckers or hold their secret down? If I was against transgenders and gays and lesbians, I'm the one that would suffer for the transgenders to have a community. I'm the one that would suffer for the drag queens to have a community. I, the one who would suffer for the gays and the lesbians. I was whipped in all for the asses. Because I wasn't like that. But I wouldn't let nobody else hurt people that was like that. Because it doesn't take away the fact that their body still has the functions of the body biology of pain and nerves and systems that will cause more than physical damage and more than approach and attitude. way more and what i mean by way more is inspiration insight motives why you think i was on the lives telling them do whatever they like then we go follow their lead but i am only here as your guardian i only going to tell you what for do and i only going to send my guardians to you for save you if you really believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ, Jehovah God. If you do not believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, I'm going to let those people out there hang you. Why do you think they took their children with them? Why do you think Mike Pence and all of them, that never really believe in me, but they're starting to believe me now, when take their children or their niece or their nephew? Are a minor. Because you know who wouldn't believe in me? The niece, the nephew, the child, the minor. They wouldn't believe in me. So they was just being leeches, parasites, cooties, leeching off of the one I was protecting to save their own ass. Isn't that right, Mike Pence? You knew you deserved to be hanged. You supposed to be one sacrifice. So we had one standing ground that these people really was gonna kill somebody. Not only one police officer, but you too. Because they was going to hang you right there in front of all the cameras. That was supposed to be the, the main evidence. But you would hide behind the one that came to my life and begged me. Why do you think they never see your door? The cameras no see them, but there was a huge angel standing in front of that door. That's why they was blind. 
That's why they was blind to their rage and their wrath. And they went after the police officer. It's because they are what? Image bound. They're not going to attack one closed locked door if they get one police officer that they was already aiming and visually looking at already. Why do you think I told him for push the leader? No, push nobody. Attack the leader. You attack the leader, they all going to get more wild and they're going to go after you. The, out, the betas and all the omegas, they're going to protect their leader. Attack the leader. Why are you thinking push the leader? And I said, run upstairs. I'm upstairs with them already, telling them where to stand. There was a lot more warriors. But I'm proud of the ones that do not want to be recognized. Because they are the true shadow warriors I was truly looking for. I don't want the ones that want glory. I don't want the ones that you know, take pictures and Instagram them when they only doing them for make nice and look sure like, you know, Ted Cruz can, cause Cancun can, cause the fucking maroon baboon named Ted Cruz Cancun, cause Cruz can. That stupid baboon when do them right. I told you. I fucking told you. Look in the, look, okay, in one of the pictures on the news, okay? Look at the car. There's one reflection of a howly girl, howly lady standing behind, watching. And if you look in the, if you look more past her, there's nobody. Nobody. And on the news, they show that there's lines and lines and lines and crowds of people getting this water, getting this supplies. Where are the other ones? That was staged. I bet you they only take 100 cases with them. Only gave them to 100 people so they can take pictures with 100 people. And they was gone. Like I said before, I told everybody, I bet you, I bet you, I guarantee, I bet you, I hold them down. If I wrong, you can fucking kill me. I fucking said that. If I wrong and Ted Cruz no go to Cancun, then I die. But Ted Cruz went to Cancun. You like know why those people when videotape them? Those are the people I made the bets with. You know, all those... um. Civilians that was fucking mad. You like know why they mad? Cause now they on death row with me. It's either they do what I told them for do, or they gonna die. And their own family member, or their own best friends, or their own favorite people, gonna shoot them and gonna kill them. So they gotta do them. I told you, I no fucking make bets if I'm not stern, bro. I don't make bets if God never tell me Garen's barbarians. I don't care if QAnon, human groups, societies tell you Garen's barbarians guarantee. I don't give a fuck. It's only when the universe and Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, start showing me the signs and the patterns and start bunking me on the head and kicking me in the ass and causing me fucking trouble. Yeah, I fucking guarantee. I fucking guarantee fucking barbarians. Like, pff, whatever, we can go all the way to fucking death, you like. I promise you, I put my fucking, I, you, when, when these fuckers come for kill me, make sure you make them worldwide national TV, bro. I owe plenty people for my death, that's why. I owe choke people my death if I was fucking lying. But obviously, I'm not lying. 
So we're going to deal with this part. The next phase, I'll deal with those motherfuckers later. They always know I come with a little fun and games a little bit before we get serious. <laughs> so we're going to just go through this. Because let me, let me enjoy this phase right now with all these liars on, on the oath. On stand, on the oath. Let me enjoy these motherfucking liars right now. I'm going to just enjoy it. I'm not going to laugh too much. I just gonna laugh a little bit. Because I'm gonna extend them a little bit more. Because I'm not really ready for laugh, laugh yet. Because they all will laugh at me then. But I'm not ready for laugh at them yet. So I go still cry. I go still cry. I go cry right now. Wah! I go cry right now. Okay? So I go cry now. Laugh later. Okay? Because they were laugh before. Oh, they're crying now. So I go quiet with them, okay? Everybody, we're going to quiet with the Republicans. Wah! Quiet, baby. Wah! Okay? Everybody, let's go, Republicans. Wah! <laughs> okay. This is fucking hilarious. Because last night, the only thing that I call me the fuck down. <laughs> you gonna think I'm a little fucking kid, but I don't give a shit. I love this fucking song. Now I know why I would love that fucking show. And now you know why I like that symbol. But... I used to use it for you loser, for real. Like I, that's why it's actually I love you is this way, but this way is you loser. That's why I hold it like this, you loser. And then I go nah nah I love you, nah loser. <laughs> Get it now? Yeah. No need to read my mind. I just tell you, just ask. I share them. Bro, that's another thing too, bro. If you, if I get enough for share, believe me. Like if you <laughs> struggling and you no more food and I know I get more than enough and you know I do. Just come and ask me. I give you one fucking goodie bag, bro. Shit. No need, and don't even give me your pity story. Just go, I don't like feel shameful. But may I have some food? And I'll be like, brah, I was taught not to be greedy with my food because even though you go sell this food for get you drugs or whatever the fuck you like do, God's still going to feed me later. So yeah, have them. But the what makes me mad, that's why it makes me fucking flip the fuck out. Because I tell everybody, you can just ask me. You can just ask me. What The worst, yeah, the worst the thing you can get is a no. But I'm going to give you, you're going to know real good reason why. One, I'm going to tell you I don't want enough. Uh, how am I going to survive? What i going to eat if I give you my only last can? Meaning, like, I can give you half. I can do whatever I can. But, bruh. Me and you gonna still suffer because you still gonna get half of the spam can and I gonna get half. And if you still hungry after your half, well, shall be it. You gonna still be hungry after that half. And whatever. But that's that's how it's gonna be. Because I can do what I can for you. That's the best I can do. But if you know, my best is actually pretty good. Hmm. 
And it's really, really weird. Really weird. And I had to listen to him for a long, long time. And I still like listening to it. Maybe I had weird dreams last night, though. Like, for real. But that, those ones, I'm going to watch to see if it comes true or not. And I like it, too, because... You know that chip? I made it into a necklace, that's why. And that chip, I put it inside one locket. And it was behind. And then if you open up the locket, the first one was on picture. And that, and then, it, and then I upgraded it to sing. And it sounded like this, that locket. And it used to glow. And at night, I used to put, open it up in my room, in, in Ka'u, and you used, used to have stars and everything, like the universe. And you used to swirl around me, and I used to just stare at it. Like, and then one day, I was sitting on top of the, the counter in front of the window, and I was looking at it like this. And someone told me that my shadow moved. Like she looked at me like this. And like she looked it sad. Like she was very sorry. But she was kept on whispering. I promise I'll make it up to you. And she always promised me she'll make it up to me. And I always believed in her. And that's why I'm here today. She kept her promise. Because I was once the sun, but now that the world became opposite, now I am the moon. I need to also now absorb energy from another source. That's another reason why they're saying I cannot be just one anymore, not this time. She was, or I was, and then it's different. Because the moon is very, very reliant, not that very independent. Because if it wasn't for the Earth's gravity pull, the moon wouldn't actually function the way it does. Because it's mag it, that's what causes its energy of magnetic. And its energy of magnetic helps the flow of the, of the push and tides. The push and pull, the tides of the ocean that's dependent. And to be, and to depend on the push and pull of the ties to balance it out.
needing earth and needing the sun is very dependable. The moon is very dependent on everything of the function of the earth because the moon was the one that was more the watcher or more the, the monitor, the more the one that was there. Everything else was more like the main keys. So it's different. It, it really is. But um, it makes sense because at the beginning I was the darkness. I was also the moon. Because I was the one absorbing and leeching off of their power. Because it was a man's world. Men had power then. Men had words. Men. That's the reason why I went and target the leaders that I did, the club leaders, the world leaders, the Senate, stuff like that. Because then I found out it wasn't the ones of the light. Why do you think I knew? Like, nah, that's just the face. That's just the face. That's just the face. That's the puppet. Because when I first, I, when I first did them, I saw them too, and then I realized who really was pulling the strings by following the strings. Following the path. But following the path and the journey gets you into a lot of trouble and a lot of hardship. But that's the reason why they say you walk in a nice when you walk that journey. You you calling out death. You asking them to kill you when you walk that path. So in a way, they was right. I guess I was asking them to kill me. But I was telling them that I had no other way to approach it. Because there was this one guy named Sammy. And we was in one room had a green door. And was had like one small gate like pattern on, on top of the window of the door. Bruh, he was testing me out. He was trying to punk me out, everything like that. I stood my ground. After that, we was like head to head, like rivals, but like the best hit man. And then he became my teacher, my sensei. My, like he didn't even know he was. Because I was taught by men and men was always Shut the fuck up, watch and learn. Shut the fuck up, watch and learn. If you cannot watch and learn, you did. As to back then, the men said they never have time for sit down and explain for hours. They never have time. And that was true. Back then, we never had time. Because look how much deaths had all over the world at that time in the 90s. Not only in the United States, but in Europe, in Asia, in all the continents of Africa, South Africa, come on, Canada, come on. And murders everywhere in the 90s. We always have to be moving. We always have to be ready. We always have to be stacked. There's not one day was ever promised tomorrow. Back in the 90s, that's for sure. In the 90s, <laughs> you was on drugs and you was going to die anyway in years. In the 90s, you was either... Doing some criminal shit that going to get you killed eventually. Or you're doing the drugs that going to get you killed eventually. And if you're doing good, they going to put them all on you and ruin your life and put you in jail. And you're going to die eventually. That's how it was in the 90s. As I said, welcome to Gotham. And that's why Gotham was created so you guys would understand. But... 
All of you out there, this was for you guys, the insiders. I gave you guys my first half of what I told you guys, what these criminals will do at the court. Now watch and learn. I remember what I told you. If you have any questions and if you have any concerns of how there's the court going, post the bottom. Say that this don't make sense, blah, blah, blah. Let the whole world know while you letting me know. So when I confront them and talk like this out to everybody, when they when they do see your video and see you questioning, and they give you the same answer I giving you through the words of justice and fair and liberty for all, you know, they know, and then that's your people. The comments will show you who your people is and who your people not, who you need to be worried about and who you need to trust. But be careful. A lot of them playing two face now. The blame game not working. So what's the next thing they gonna do? Two face. They gonna two face. They gonna pretend they on your side. Cause it's called fake it till you make it. Remember that. Now we in the phase of they gonna fake it till they make it. Two face fuckers. You ready now? Now let's go watch these two face. Fake it till you make it. Trials. We all saw the riot. We all saw what was built. You think building when hangman posts is intentional or not intentional? Look at that thing. For somebody to build it and put it right there in front of the Capitol, was that intentional or not intentional? Ask yourself that. You know that hangman post for Mike Pence? They actually went build them and they actually get them there. Took a lot of work, took a lot of effort, took a lot of time, took a lot of planning, took a lot of thinking. So was it intentional or was it not intentional? Or you guys, that's still dumb, stupid, ignorant. And you still wearing one fucking veil. When are you going to take the fucking veil off? But anyways, if you like wearing your fucking veils, you bunch of fucking faggots. That's why I said, where the real men at? Where the real males at? I, I want to talk to males. Okay? Males. We know where to put you with the transgenders if you're a little bit gay. Like that. And we know where to put you if you don't like dressing like that, but you a little bit gay like that. We know where to put you. There are plenty of girls like you. By talking about the males. The males. The real males. The one that seem like they're dying out. <sighs> so sad. I was born at the time that had real males. They act like real males, but they had the fucked up brain mentality. Fucked up brain mentality. They was fucked up in the head. But now I'll get the ones good in the head, but oh, they don't act like males. What the fuck? Kukai these guy. Kukai these men. Kukai the boyfriend. Oh, ah. Kukit guy. Oof. But anyways, I better head the hell out of here and catch you guys later. I've been almost on here for an hour. So thank you all you guys for being here with me for a whole hour. And so, and um, I'm also hungry. I'm fucking hungry. Hey, brah, I went to the fucking store the other day. I got true value. Guess what the fuck they did? This lady thought that somebody else was buying my food. Okay. And I would order like the, a bunch of stuff. 
Okay. My sandwich was full. Okay. I always get one big ass sandwich. Okay. Cause I like ham. I like beef. I like turkey. Oh, I never put turkey, but I, you know, I like all, you know, the, all the meat, okay, and tomato and lettuce, because I ain't going on BLT, okay, but I would add the shit load of meat, and the lady was like, oh, you know, it's like almost two, two, three dollars, you know, the extra meat, you know, and blah, blah, and I was like, let it, I already am paid for them. And she was like, oh, you already paid for them. I was like, yeah, I already paid for them. I know how much it is. Yeah. And she was like, what? And I was like, I was like, I get the receipt. Wait, where's the receipt? And then I, because I was already mad. I forget. I put the receipt in the small pocket in the front. And I was only looking in the big pocket. And then finally, I look in a small pocket. And I find them. Oh, here. Yeah, I fucking find them. And. Then, because when I, because um, after I told her I already didn't pay for them, and I and she, and the lady already told me was I gonna have extra, yeah, the lady that took my order already told me gonna cost extra. I told her that's fine. I'm paying for it. Why do you care if I'm paying for it? Why do you care that I'm giving your store motherfucking money? Just give me my fucking food, cause I'm fucking hungry. And I was like, what the fuck? I cannot eat. <laughs> what the fuck going on? Okay. So they, then she changed her, 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 her approach to, oh, I mean, I don't mean it like that. I mean it. And then he, then she reverses and she looks at him and says that it's almost two to $3. And I said, oh my gosh, she just went go right around a big circle. And I said, I paid for it. And then she was like, oh, did you pay the, the extra? Now she was now she was looking at the cashier. Is the cashier when charged me correctly? And was my cousin Aisha. And my cousin Aisha when charged me correctly. Okay. She didn't fucking charge me correctly. We don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, we might be fucking family. But we don't go ask each other family for go ruin each other's jobs, you know. I'm not like that. Maybe our family may like be like that, but I'm not like that. I'm not gonna jeopardize my cousin's fucking um job for me forget free food when I get enough money for fucking pay for all. Come on. So I was like, no, lady, I will pay for him. I will pay for him. Like he and I said, no, no, he never paid for him. I didn't pay for him. And I would pay like I got so mad. Okay. I got so mad that I that this is why she would knock it off too. I said, Oh, I'm the one that paid for everything. I would pay for everything. It was on one slip. I paid for everything. And she was like, Oh, you paid the $80. Cause she look at the receipt, yeah. And I said, yes, I'm the one that paid the $80. And if you go look at it, that means I had enough money to pay the $80 for all of my fucking food that we eating right now. That when I was walking out, I was looking at my cousin's like, cousin, what the fuck happened? Because she knew. She knew. She heard the lady tell, oh, did she charge her for all the extra meat? And I said, yes, she did charge me for the extra meat. I was already on my cousin's side because she did nothing wrong. She did a job right. She did everything. I don't even know why. I hate when people bring in other people when it has nothing to do with them. That's why when I walk past my cousin, like, oh, no, no worry, cousin. No worry, cousin. She was just saying that she wasn't sure if I all that meat is what I really was going to eat and I'd pay for them. And cousin, I'd pay for them. No worry. We get them. I get the receipt, girl. We get them. We get them. She's like, okay, hey, cousin, we good. I said, yeah, cousin, we good. Fuck that stupid. <laughs> I was like, no, cousin, no worry. And I, when I'd walk outside, I told, I tell all of them, like, fuck that stupid bitch. I get the receipt and I the fucking one would pay for them. I don't know why she was trying to tell, tell the guy I was with that, oh, this, like, this, this is how, this is why it pissed me off too. Okay, this is why it would also piss me off. The girl was making me feel like I was being one gold digger and I was splurging $80 for my fucking sandwich 
drink and snacks and all the stuff I was buying. Like I was just splurging all his fucking money. And I was be one gold dig a bitch. Like she was like, like she was do like, and I and when I said no, I paid for it. That's how I look at her. It's like, well, then you say that I won't go dig a bitch. That means he won't go dig a bitch. Because who would pay for him? I would pay for him. So he to go dig a bitch. No fucking piss me off, bro. She went, she, that he went catch on too. That he was like, oh, oh I get him though. But I, um, um, you know what I mean? I'll pay for him, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like he, 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 um, he gonna pay for it and that uh, something that something of something, yeah. And I was like, "How's this fucking?" That's the reason I was like, "How's this fucker trying to fucking act like somebody else in fucking biome?" Like for real, I was like, "No, bitch, today because you just did that to me. I want my fucking credit. I want my fucking credit. I want to be fucking recognized. I want to be fucking respected, right fucking now." The gold digger bitch is this fucking faggot right here. This motherfucker is a gold digger bitch. I'm the one that paid the eighty dollars. He only ha I look at his receipt. He only had hundred something dollars left. I would have wiped out his whole fucking wallet. His whole card would have been empty if he went fucking pay for him. So shut the fuck up. That's why I was fucking mad, bro. I was I, I was holding my face like, oh no worry, cousin. You know, yeah, yeah, we're all good. Cause it 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 the result of it came out good. But while I was in the journey, while I was in the journey, I was like, how's this motherfucker? That that's why I was panicking because I was fucking getting mad. That's why I couldn't find the fucking receipt. And when I find the fucking receipt, gave them to her. I want to fucking snap more. And the why I snap like that, like, hello, I don't want to pay for them. That's my card. She, she even said, oh, this is your card. I said, yeah, this is my card. And she even looked at my balance and all. And she gave, she looked at me and she gave it to me. And I look at her. I was like, yeah, bitch. I know fucking broke, bitch, bro. That's what would piss me off more. I know fucking gold digger bitch. And I know fucking broke bitch either. The gold digger is right there. And the broke bitch right now is right there. Because if I, if he wouldn't pay for my shit, he, that would have been his whole fucking card. He only had hundred something dollars left. And I went by twice. My first one was... $80. My second one was about 30 bucks. I would spend $111 at true value. $111. Bruh, I want high spender. And they fucking treated me like that. That's why I was like, these fuckers. Like I fucking told you, I could fucking take my money somewhere else. I can fucking donate my fucking money to somebody else, bro. Remember, it's us customers that spend fucking big money that give you fucking better hours. Not the person that come in here for only pay $5, $2 a fucking day. It's us that come in and buy $40 a fucking day. So no fucking look at me like I'm a fucking gold digger and a broke bitch. I don't ever remember myself being one broke bitch. That's why it's an insult. That's why I tell people, yeah, I live on the streets, but I wasn't one broke bitch when I was living on the streets. I was on fucking hustler. That's why I was like, bro, no fuck with me, bro. This necklace he got me is all the fucking shit he said he was going to pay me back for. 
You know how much shit I went by him since I knew him since June. Bro, I went by this guy so much fucking gifts. So much shit. And he always tell me, oh, I pay you back. I pay you back. I even gave him cash. I gave him supplies on the fucking why so he don't need pay. He don't need spend his money go store. I would spend my cash go to the store. Go buy the trash bags. Go buy the fucking supplies. He just come to my house. Go shopping. That's a lot of fucking shit. I give him. Then he gave me. Yeah, nice the necklace. Oh, right on. But still does not equal how much food I fucking gave you. House you. The utilities I let you use at my house. Deal with your other bitch you like. No fuck with me. That's why yes, the whole brown fucking snap at him too, because he was using his fucking eyesight as a problem. And I said, Oh, so you telling me something that's supposed to be right in the open? Oh, your eyesight's the problem. That's the excuse. The excuse is because your eyesight, you know, can see. Oh, I was fucking losing it. That I swear to God, I could feel the fucking tingles in me. That I, I swear to God, I was like, okay, me and him going to scrap in this house. We're going to fucking scrap in this house. I swear to God. <laughs> but then I found, I found it. Well, actually, I never. I heard something drop behind me. So I turned, look at him. And then he would point at the ground and I pick him up. And I look at him, bro, I was still fucking mad. That's why, you know how I know I was still mad? The shit that came out my mouth after. Because you could tell I was still taunting him like I'm off of fucking scrap. <laughs> I was like, how I know? How I know you never drop him on the ground and blame me? See, you like blame me, throw him on the ground, yeah? You like throw <laughs> But he was smarter, this one. He was like. I don't know. And he didn't walk outside on the deck and sit down. And he never said nothing. He didn't let me talk to myself. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. Because I was like, okay, okay, find it. Thank you. Thank you. Because <laughs> I was still taunting him. I was like, okay, thank you then. Okay, thank you then. <laughs> thank you then. The thing was on the ground. I know he did you. <laughs> But this one was smarter. <laughs> this one never do the. <laughs> this one was like, I'm going to ignore you. I don't know you right now. <laughs> he didn't bust a me on me. That's why I was confused. He didn't bust a me on me. I don't know you right now. I'm going to sit down and stare at my phone. I don't know you. And I was just like, because I cannot be mad at him because I get him in my hand. I cannot push it any further. Or I gonna look like the bitch, more of the stupid bitch, not the bitch, the stupid bitch. As I was like, so I came in here, blast my radio, sing to myself, and I would take my medicine, and I felt better. And I'm running over there and tell him I was sorry, I feel better. <laughs> I saw, I feel better now. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's the case. I was always, I have my friends. I swear to God, they go through some. A lot of crap with me. I make it up though. My friends cannot say I don't make them up though. <laughs> I keep my contracts. <laughs> but I better go because it's been ooh, an hour. Bye. <laughs>